Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel again. So today in this video, we're going to see one of the another interesting topic that is Jenkins EC2. Okay, so fix the disk space issue on built-in agent. Okay, for example, we have installed Jenkins in the last video that you know we installed Jenkins on Amazon, you know, Amazon Linux. So so most of the times we'll be facing some kind of a basics issue. Okay, so that is kind of like you know built-in agent. I know we have a disk space issues on built-in agents, right? So we are going to see how to fix that. Okay, so now in the last video, as you can see, you know, we have installed uh, Jenkins on, you know, so Jenkins on EC2 instance, you know, so we all these steps we have followed. Now, um, if you go back to, and if you, if you create a new item, um, you know, a new work items like, you know, so new project, I'm going to give cloud institution, okay, cloud institution project, okay, so cloud iPhone institution, okay, so the, I'm going to choose a freestyle project, okay, so now I'm going to click on, okay. Now, okay, I'm not going to do anything. I just, I'm just going to add a build step and I'm going to give execute cell. I just give, give it echo uh, and hi. I'm just hiding this hi message, all right? So I'm just going to save it. So whatever I'm just building it now, okay? So when I'm just trying to build it, so build will be scheduled, okay? So it'll be telling that, you know, waiting for a, waiting for next available executor. Is this is really weird right you know so it's always like telling me that waiting for a next available executor so as much as much as the time we wanted to wait so it will keep on telling that so if you can you may wonder that why it is this asking so everything else whatever you have mentioned over here is correct okay but it is telling that you knows so why it is just still giving me this kind of errors like you know so waiting for the next available executor okay so now what I have to do is that it, 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 it will never proceed for the next next stage okay so we need to we can cancel it okay so because I'm going to cancel I'm going to show you um, how to fix this issue permanently now if you go back to the dashboard okay um, so this is the this is the basic you know the main dashboard so now where we have to go to manage Jenkins okay so click on manage Jenkins. So there are various options are there. Okay. So systems and tools and plugins and appearances, cloud nodes and security, all these things are there. <clears throat> okay. So now what happens is that if you are, uh, you know, if you are, uh, you know, if your node is not been configured properly, then it will give you all, all this kind of issues. Okay. So I'm clicking on node and there is a building node is there. Okay. So as you can see here, the free swap, swap space issue 0 .0 0 0.0.0b. Okay and then free time space um, space was 470 MB so how to fix this so this is the, this is the easy way because uh, by default Jenkins is expecting this kind of a you know so default values but so as a recommendation if you go if you're going for a real-time production environment it is better to add a new node okay so in the new, later classes we, we will see how to add a new node um, you know to run all your jobs because to reduce the load, you know, so to reduce the load of your Jenkins, you have to do and you have to create this kind of a nodes. But for now, if you want to have a very quick fix, okay, so what you have to do is you have to click on settings, okay, so number of executor is two, okay, so this is a, a parallel execution of uh, Jenkins instances and how many times you are going to execute it, okay, so that is there. Then you can see here, you know, this space monitoring and threshold. Okay, so you can click on this one. So here it is giving everything is like, you know, so 1 GB, so disk space threshold, you know, we, we, we are already having kind of a threshold, you know, has been set because we need this much of free space to run it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give zero everywhere. Okay, I'm just going to give zero and zero and zero and zero. Okay, this is a really uh, quick fix saying that, you know, I don't need any disk space uh, threshold to be reached for the monitoring. Okay, so I'm going to click on save. Okay, so once you uh, once you save it, okay, so I'm going to click on bring back this node to on online. Okay, so now the disconnected by the cloud institution. Okay, so now if you can go for the nodes. Okay, so the, the built-in node is showing. Okay, the free uh, swap space is showing the zero zero space zero b. That's fine, but the the you know time space issue was fixed. Okay, so now it's still is showing like the the cross line, but it's fine, I believe. Let's go back to the, our uh, dashboard, and then I'm going and to the cloud institution is the project. So now I'm going to build now. Uh, 
okay it's still it's still showing the showing it for a, a wait for a, a next available executor okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going back going back here i'm going to uh, i'm going to manage jenkins um, so okay so now i'm going back to the node um, edit um, okay so use this node as much as possible and um, this space okay so 0 MB I'm just trying to give 0 uh, MB or uh, okay so can discriminate by the cloud instances. The free free uh, swap space is zero. Now what I, what we can do is I'm going to bring back this node online. Okay, so now this issue is fixed. Okay, so now um, as you can see here, uh, if you go to configure and then if you can go to the nodes, um, number of instances shaved and all these things. Uh, so I think this seems this seems to be fixed actually. So I'm going to the node. Okay, so this error, error is fixed. Okay, so now uh, the thing is you have to give the MB kind of thing. Okay, so now the, if you go for cloud institution, that build has already been successful. Okay, so likewise, you can just fix this error in a fraction of, fraction of minutes. Okay, so now the echo high is been successful. So this is the very really uh, quick fix that what you can do with the uh, Jenkins, right? So if you want to run one more, one more build as well, you can just go back here and then you can just run it. Um, okay, you can just um, you can just configure edit configuration, and uh, you can just go back and make it like edit hello now, edit hello, and then you can just save it, and then you can just build now. So it should be running in the same build agent in a fraction of seconds. Okay, so now is a build two is going to trigger. I can see here the console output. You can see the hello as the output. Okay, so this is how we'll be fixing um, the disk space issue on your, uh, you know, um, on your Jenkins server. Okay, so hope this video was really helpful for you. So if you're stuck with this kind of issues when you're working on the real-time environment, then please, you know, like this video. I, I hope this video will be really, really helpful for you to fix this kind of uh, errors uh, in your, uh, you know, uh, in your classes. So thank you so much for watching this video and please like, comment, share and subscribe to the channel. <coughs> And if you really like to see more videos like this one, so please uh, you know follow our page. And then if you have any questions um, on the uh, uh, courses, and you know if you really enroll for any kind of a cloud courses, please reach out to us on this number. And also please check out this check out check out our website for more information on the courses. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and see you again in the next video.